A Real Life Superpower A Testimony by Vicki Kuyper Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. 1 Peter 4.8 Six-year-old Shay was intensely focused on completing her art assignment, a self-portrait illustrating a real-life superpower that she possessed. As she sketched, my granddaughter explained that her special gift was her ability to eat a lot of sweets. <laughs> I had to laugh, but on the inside I cringed. I saw so many more admirable strengths in my granddaughter, such as creativity, musicality, and empathy. But this was her project, so I simply smiled and kept my mouth shut. Do you know what I think your superpower is, Mimsy? Shay asked. I fully anticipated her saying, being able to eat even more sweets than me. Instead, she responded, I think your superpower is being kind. Surprised, flattered, and humbled, I rather sheepishly replied, Well, thank you, Shay, but you know Mimsy isn't always kind. Sometimes I get angry or tired and say things that aren't very kind, things I don't mean. Shay stopped drawing, looked at me straight in the eye, and said, as seriously as a six-year-old can, Mimsy, you're a lot kinder than you think you are. I was taken aback. I wondered if the real me, the Mimsy God sees, more closely resembled Shay's version of me or my own. According to 1 Peter 4, 8, perhaps both versions of me are true. Because I love my granddaughter, I see the best in her. Because she loves me, she sees me through eyes of love, just as my Heavenly Father does when He looks at both my granddaughter and me. Father, help me see things through your eyes, the eyes of love, and treat them accordingly. All the room was hot. And still, and where the bowl was filled, he stooped to wash their feet. And when it was complete, he said, This is what I'm asking you to do. This is why I'm needing. This is what I want my church to be This is what I want the world to see Who it is you follow Love each other One another Love each other
I've loved you 